Hey, Brian from Snake Bites here. You know what? We breed a lot of Klubert snakes here at BHB. We're going to go ahead and show you the first process, which is really just introducing males and females together. So you know what? We're going to have Lori show you guys what it's like that we do here for Kluber breeding season. Well, this is the time of year here at BHB that we're breeding colubrids, and uh, right now we're in step one of the process. We have a lot more females than we do males, so we have to switch those males every day to make sure that every female in each group gets bred. It's not necessarily a difficult job, but you have to do the same thing over and over. We have everything separated out into its own groups. You know, we'll start and, you know, we'll, we like to put the males first and then we'll put all the females that are being bred by those uh, underneath it and then go on from there. So it makes it easier as far as switching males, you know. I just have to look and go, okay, you know, these two females go down here and I just move them down day by day. On some animals, but not all, I, I can tell uh, males from females by looking at them, but the majority of the colubrids, uh, it's it's a lot harder for me, where Brian can, can know just by glancing at the tail, whether it's a male or female. So I use um, paint markers to mark lines on the males, and it makes it a lot easier for me, because then I just open the cage, look in, and I can just look for that paint marker. All the males here have male tags. Um, it tells us what the animal is, where the animal belongs, which slot is its home, and then it also tells me where that male is being bred. So when I see that tag, then I know, okay, this male's here, and then when I move him to another cage, I'll move that tag with him. Sometimes after you switch the males into new females' cages, you'll, you'll hear a lot of thrashing around, you know, tails rattling, or, or uh, animals just kind of racing around the cage, and, and that's normal. Some of the different kinds of things that you'll see um, when you're breeding the, the snakes is um, a lot of times you'll see tails wrapped that doesn't necessarily mean they're breeding you know but um, sometimes it can be a good indication but not a hundred percent and you won't always see it a lot of times they'll breed when you're not around so you don't have to actually see something to know that an animal is bred. A lot of times in uh, your king snakes where the males will actually uh, latch on to the back of the female's neck, like behind the head, to hold them, to, to keep them still so they don't run away while they're trying to breed. She might not, you know, be receptive to it, but he'll, uh, he'll hold her that way. And The next part in the process is when we start looking for prelay sheds and, and we have to tag those and put lay boxes in and, and then they, they'll, um, from, from prelay shed to lay is a window of about seven days, so the way that the animal cycle is um, some groups will go produce sooner than others but probably in about a month month and a half or so is is kind of like um, the peak of it all and that's when you know every other uh, cage will have a red tag on it you'll just look down at the sea of red and just think oh god how am i going to get through this day but you just got to press through and, and make it to the next day <laughs> Okay, so there it is, basically the first step of breeding colubrids, which is basically introducing males and females together, feeding them up really good, it's an important part, but you know, we still have egg laying and egg hatching season coming. So over the next six weeks, make sure you stay tuned, because we're gonna revisit this in future episodes.